Fishy odor. That is one of the hallmark symptoms of bacterial vaginosis or BV. Uh, people often complain of like a fishy or fish-like odor that can happen after sex. It can also happen when you're menstruating. You might just notice it haphazardly. But that fishy odor is kind of a big symptom that a lot of my patients over the years have come to me with and it is well known. Now, other symptoms of bacterial vaginosis, you're asking, well, how would I know I have it? Fishy odor could be one of them, but vaginal discharge is often changed. It is not your normal vaginal discharge. So it could be milky or it could be gray. For some people, it could be watery. Some people, it's kind of like a greenish discharge or it's foamy. But the idea is that often it's an unusual vaginal discharge and not your normal. Also, though, some people get burning with urination, although oftentimes with burning with urination, we think of urinary tract infections and other things like that, but that is possible. Sometimes people get um, itching or sort of irritation around their external vaginal area. Uh, they might get vaginal irritation as well, but the vaginal discharge and the odor are probably the main symptoms. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. It's good to see you. We are talking about bacterial vaginosis. Uh, we are talking about who gets it, what the symptoms are, etc. One big question I'm answering of yours is, can you get bacterial vaginosis if you have never had sex? I'm going to answer that question. All right, let's talk about what bacterial vaginosis is or what causes it rather. It's really caused by an imbalance or change in the distribution and types of bacteria we have in our vaginal area. That's right. We generally have what we call our bacterial flora. That is a normal thing, but when that gets disrupted and imbalanced, um, one of the things that can happen is bacterial vaginosis can be caused. All right. Who gets bacterial vaginosis? Well, uh, women, I would say between the ages of 15 and 44, that is the most common age group for bacterial vaginosis. Um, honestly, any age can get it, even if you haven't had sex. And that is an important point I want you to know. You don't have to have been sexually active to get BV or bacterial vaginosis. And if someone tells you that, that is a myth. You don't have to have sex to get BV. However, it is most common in people who are sexually active, okay? There are other risk factors. People who are more likely to get bacterial vaginosis are people who have, say, new sexual partners or who have multiple sexual partners. People who tend to douche. I've talked about douching before, y'all. Douching is a no-go. It is not good. I do not want you to douche. I will make sure I link a video here. If you don't see it, just message me for it. Also, uh, people who don't use condoms may be more likely to get bacterial vaginosis. Pregnant women, that is right. Uh, one in four pregnant women will get BV or bacterial vaginosis. So that's something that we often see in pregnant women. Uh, interestingly enough, African-Americans are two times more likely than uh, white women to get bacterial vaginosis and women with IUDs may be more likely as well. Again, those are the people that are more likely to get it. Doesn't mean that they necessarily are, okay? Now, let's talk about treatment. Let's talk about testing. Let's talk about what you do about it. First of all, I do want you to know that there is treatment. You may be wondering, oh my gosh, what do I do? There is treatment, but first of all, you got to get tested. And this is the thing. Sometimes the symptoms of bacterial vaginosis or BV can overlap or seem like symptoms of other conditions. Remember I mentioned uh, you might or could get burning with urination? Well, what does that overlap with? As I mentioned, it can overlap with a UTI, right? In other words, um, your symptoms could be a number of things. You won't know that it's bacterial vaginosis or BV until you go to your doctor and get tested. And yes, there are tests that we can do for this which is awesome. Let me also say that um, there is treatment too, okay? We give you antibiotics for this, which is really, really important. And we have antibiotics for this, which is super, 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 super important, which I love. Now, you may be saying, well, what's the big deal with getting BV or ba uh, bacterial vaginosis? Is it really a big deal if I don't get treated? I think I have it, but it's not bothering me so much, or I was told I have it, but I haven't picked up treatment. Do I need to? The answer is yes. You absolutely, absolutely, absolutely need to get treated. You know why? Because if you don't treat BV or bacterial vaginosis, it actually can increase your risk of getting sexually transmitted infections or STDs, including HIV. The other thing is it can cause problems with pregnancy if you were to get pregnant. So you want to get this treated. You want to get this diagnosed. You want to make sure you know what you have. But ladies, I want to tell you that this is something that many women get. Just understand some of the hallmark symptoms. Better yet, just understand that if anything doesn't seem right, 
with you. That is your cue to go to your doctor. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. Please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook, Threads, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, etc. Also go to my website, drjencaudrell.com to sign up for my free weekly health newsletter. Love y'all.